What's up guys, welcome to my channel. We got a Toyota crawl up on the lift today and I'm gonna show you how to remove this drum. A lot of times these drums will be hectic to remove, so I'm gonna give you some key points. We're gonna clean and adjust this thing, okay? And replace the drums. So if your drums are crawled and they're making noise, over time they're gonna have rust build up, so they are gonna make noise. So what you wanna do is, uh, first of all, this drum is pretty loose, but if yours is not loose, uh, you wanna take a hammer, just hit it softly, okay? You don't want to go crazy. If you're reusing the drum, you might want to be careful, but it's always a good idea to replace a drum. Okay, if it budges, good. If not, then you could use two number 12 millimeter bolts uh, right here. They go just fit up two bolts, just, just tighten this and that, and it will go back and forth and it, it will open up. If that doesn't work, you, if you could get, manage to get that much of it open and then it still doesn't want to come out, what you want to do is, you can get a ply bar or or a flathead screwdriver. You could simply insert it right here and it will pop up. Sometimes even from here it won't budge. You would need two ply bars, one here, one here together at the same time like that, crisscross, and tap, 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 tap with the hammer and this thing will slowly, slowly, slowly come right off. But if you want to reuse the drum, it wouldn't be a good idea because of all this corrosion, but it'd be a good idea to replace it with the new drum, but anyways, we're gonna clean and adjust this guy today. Okay, so here goes, nothing. Okay, before anything, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna clean this drum. If you wanna look at a few key things, before you even make a decision that you want it uh, clean and adjust, you have to look at the thickness of the brake shoes. These are almost like new brake shoes, okay? But anyways, we got this parts cleaner right here, brake cleaner, that's what we're using. And I wanna clean this whole thing up, so start from the top. So everything can be just so much down. You see that? Same thing on the opposite side. Get that adjustment screw right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Try to get the hub as well. And if you want to wire brush, you can wire brush this guy. But what we're gonna do today is, okay, so give it a moment. All this is gonna vapor really quick. It's gonna dry up as we speak, it's drying up. And uh, what you wanna do is, you wanna get something that you can lift this I want to look at a few things okay if this drum is if this uh, drum here is leaking it's not good if you lift this up no fluid good put it right back in if you see fluid in there bad idea to keep going so you might want to just service a new drum no fluid so let's put this back together okay I'm not putting a hole in it. a lot of people say I use something a sharp object It's the best thing that I like to work with so how you feel comfortable also you want to push on this you see how the drum if this is moving back and forth okay I don't want to go crazy but you see how it's going back and forth that means it's, it's working sometimes a piston inside this will get jammed up and then this thing will not work like it's supposed to be okay so next what we want to do what you want to look at is the thickness of these brake shoes they're very thick there's lettering here if you cannot see the lettering i could see 81n clearly here camera might not be able to see but this is thick enough okay we're not gonna change this but if you need to change it you can change it but what we're gonna do is move on to the next point which is gonna be um we're gonna grease the little spot so you want to grease you want to grease at several points you could remove this and do it remove this and do it the shoe will come forward but in our case what i want to do is all you need to do is just lift it up a little bit and you have a brush here. You're gonna see me do this. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna see me do this, but you should be able to do this by yourself. You know what, I'll show you one or two points and then you can do the rest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my grease brush here ready. So you just lift up and just smudge a little bit of greasing right in back of it. That's how simple it is. If you remove these retainers, I'll be even easier to get to the rest of them. I, I hope you don't get grease on your shoes and uh, that's about it, okay? So if you have a lot of rust over here, you might want to clean it off. I don't have it, I forgot that point. Just clean it all around, okay? Because 
as the drum turns it'll make noises okay so what I want to do is I want to get greases on the rest it's like one two three spot one two three spot do not get any on the shoe or the drum and what we're gonna do next is um, once I'm done with this I am gonna wait for the new drums anyways uh, once I get the drums we're gonna adjust this little guy so we got our drums there and we're gonna clean it okay so you do need to clean the surface inside because they have oil on them uh, they lubricate them so they don't get rusted so take your cleaner I'm gonna have to go get another camera turned off but I was cleaning this guy so make sure it's nice and clean no oil because you don't want the brakes to fail on you and we'll do the same thing with the other one but it's time for us to go and put the drum on and we're gonna adjust it so it's gonna be a few little things that you want to pay attention to so your adjustment screw all you need is a flat head screwdriver so what I like to do is I like to do three clicks let me turn on my light so I like to do three clicks one two three I'm gonna go get set up my camera I get the drum and I'm gonna pay attention to the drum okay so let's put on our drum make sure your pads are sitting equal from both sides Two free, okay. Let's take it right back off. That's two free, okay. We'll do two, three more clicks. One, two, three. Two free, two free. I'm gonna do four clicks this time. One, two, three, four. It's all about them clicks. I feel a little bit of a difference, but still needs more adjustment. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do more. We're gonna keep doing it till one, two, three, four. Until the drum actually stops with the revolutions. One, two, three, four. If you do too much, you have to push the pin in the back and turn it back. Okay, I like that. I might gonna do two more clicks. One, two. And I think I'm gonna just leave it here. I don't wanna go any further. There you go, I like that, stops, perfect. So that's how you're gonna adjust. There's also a slot in the back you could do it from the back, but I like to do it from right here. Anyways, thank you for watching, see you guys in the next one. Okay, I'm done with both sides. I just wanna show you guys something. I should've done this before, but once you're done, your e-brake, check this out. You see that? It's tight. If your e-brake is going all the way up like that, this is the farthest I could get. Okay, if you do adjustment like that, your e-brake should be much better. Even your pedal will become much, much better, okay? Thank you for watching, guys. See you guys on the next one.